Hey, it's Rihanna. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be filming a DIY video. Basically, we're going to be making a filter for the solar eclipse to use on a Sony Cybershot or a similar type of vlogging, like point and shoot camera. So stay tuned. If you watched my vlog from the weekend, I talked about how I wanted to film the solar eclipse that's happening on the 21st using my vlogging camera. Obviously, it's not a you know DSLR where I can just buy a filter, like a solar flare filter, um, already sized for my camera. So I went to a place called Houston Camera Exchange and he didn't have what I needed, but he did direct me to Land, Sea, and Sky um, to pick up this, I think it's, let me see what they call it. I believe he said it was like acetate paper or something like that, but this is what it is. Um, and they obviously they had it at the second location. And I also went ahead and picked up two of the glasses for me and Jonathan. So what I'm doing now is I am essentially rigging up a filter to place on this camera to document the solar eclipse without damaging my camera. Um, just like you can't look at the sun with your eyeballs because it can damage your eyes, you can also not film the sun with your camera for extended periods of time because it can damage um, the stuff inside the camera. So what you're going to need for this is you're going to need some of this paper that I showed you. You're going to need some cardboard and it's kind of going to be like trial and error here. I've got an X-Acto knife, some scissors pen, pencil, some washi tape, um, but this is like what I have right now for my prototype. Basically what I did was um, I just got like a grocery bag and I sized it with, um, <laughs> with my lens on my camera and what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to make something kind of like a slide. So like taking this and cut, if I like if I had extras of these, probably I could just cut it, fit it on a tube, but out of cardboard. And then you're basically gonna make like a slide like this to then put on here with no light, <laughs> obviously coming through. So that way I can film it. The first thing you're gonna do, like I said, after you've done something like this. So what I did was I took a grocery bag, I cut it, and then I fit it over my lens at the widest point and um, to get like the sizing or whatever. So the next thing is you're gonna wanna take your cardboard and like I know that this edge right here is gonna be um, tall enough this way because you want to protect your lens. Okay, so first you want to cut the flap off of your cardboard. Okay, so this edge we know is going to be straight because it came from the actual side of the box. So you're going to want to trim this one down, down on your exacto cutting sheet thingy. So this is the mark where you're going to want to cut. You want to cut it as straight as possible. Okay, so now you ha should have a somewhat perfect piece of cardboard. And now you need to get the length. Now, because cardboard isn't going to roll as smooth um, in the beginning, you might want to go ahead and try to just start getting it rolled up really well. Okay, so then you want to measure the like little prototype that you made and you want to cut this is the mark for where it should be but I'm gonna cut a little bit excess because I want to have some room uh, in case I made a mistake so the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna want to make the actual um, kind of like a slide for the lens to go in here Let's try to do this again, but there we go. 
That's a little bit better. And then cut it out. Okay, I kind of think that we should maybe do that a little bit different because I'm thinking about as you put it in here, there's going to be light coming in from around there. So maybe it should be bigger, just slightly bigger maybe. Let's see. Okay, so now we're going to want to cut out a, like a, a viewfinder for the filter to um, actually, you know, you got to be able to see. Okay, so I'm going to take this other piece that I cut out before that I didn't like, and I'm going to trace the little window that I made on the inside of here. And then do the same thing on this one. Okay, so we got that and that, and then you want to get the paper. This is about the size that you're going to need. Okay, you don't want any scratches or anything, um, so be very careful. Now we need some super glue. You need your piece of special filter paper, and you're going to want to apply the glue. Then some super glue on this one. There's a little like slide thing. And the last step to making this is I'm going to close this up. Okay, so I have the thing on, you can see it right here. Okay, I've got this. Now what I need to do is I need to make sure there's no light coming in. So I need to find the spot where there's no light. Looks like right there. Nope. Oh, I think that's it right there. Okay. Now I'm going to tape it down. Where's my tape? Oh, right here. <laughs> uh, I feel like I see a little bit of something when I turn it this way. Let's take it outside and test it out. Okay, I'm pointing y'all directly at the sun now. I'm trying to figure out, I see something, what is that? Oh, look, that's the sun. Oh. Okay, I went behind the clouds, so hold on. <laughs> I feel like sometimes I turn it on, I can see a little bit of something. I'm waiting very patiently. See, like when I go like that, see, whoop, what is that? Oop, over there. See it? There we go. I got it. I'm filming. That's freaking amazing. I have my hand over my head right now because it's so bright. So I can't zoom in, but I got it. I'm going to look at the footage, but it looks like it is successful. Um, here it is. My little DIY solar flare filter 
for a Sony Cybershot and any other type of like point and shoot that has a this this kind of that kind <laughs> Make sure that if you're going to be doing this, that you check that, you know, check your camera, use the filter, take it outside, make sure it's good um, because it can, the sun can absolutely damage your camera. So um, it's, it's a DIY with a disclaimer. Be very, very careful. Next Monday, I'll be filming the solar eclipse. So that's exciting. Um, subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. Click that thumbs up button if this was helpful for you. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.